Let's take a detour from modeling the cup to work with the nodes in the network view. The nodes act as a recipe that describes the flow of data from the top to the bottom of the network. Keeping this view of your scene organized and easy to read is important for when you return to it later on in production or when you share your work with others. So here, let's, in the network view here, there's a little bar in here. We can click here and that will push that bar up. Let us really look at that right here. We're going to double click to go down and look at network view. Now this is pretty organized right now, but what we want to do is we want to move some nodes around. We're going to take this uh, match size. We're going to take match size and we're going to wiggle that out. And we're going to place that um, after the poly bridge. And then we're going to take the color node and we're going to wiggle that out. And we're going to move that up to right after the tube. So that we set the, the, the display flag here on divide. Um, you'll see that everything looks the same. Uh, there's a couple little differences. Uh, one is that the uh, mat size here, because of the, the handle, um, if we actually press P, uh, what we want to do is along Z, we want to say none and that will allow it to be centered in there. So that's, that's an important thing right there. Other than that, um, it hasn't really changed that much. Now, if in the process of this, these things got, let's say, a little disorganized, what you can do is select these, press A, and drag down, and you'll see that everything gets sort of organized um, and, and looks good in that way. So that's something you can pull on. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two of these nodes. Let's do the tube and the color node. And we're going to alt drag those over to here. And then we're going to go tab and switch. We can add nodes in here. And the switch node will actually allow us um, to go back and forth between these two. So if we go down to here and we go P, we can say, okay, let's look at the second one. Now, it doesn't look any different right now, but what we can do is let's change that color uh, to red. And let's take the tube, and we're going to change um, the height of that to 1.2. So if we go back to the this node here, uh, we can go from the orange one to the other cup. And there we go. Now, while you're working, you can also, we notice there is a bit of an error in there. And that error is because we went out of range. There's only two things, and those two things are zero and one. So if we go beyond that, we get an error. So we'll stick with one in the red cup there. Now, let's press P. If we want to organize this a little bit more, we can select these and put a Right here you see a network box. In a network box, um, you can also press Shift-O, and we're going to double click on this and call this Starting Shapes. Now similarly, we could go down to, let's say, all of these nodes, and like I said, Shift-O will also do that. Let's just do these. And we're going to change that to Polygon Tools. And we probably should capitalize that. There we go. Now, if it turns out we don't want to work with those very much anymore, we can actually collapse these two here uh, to simplify the network up. So that's an option, or we can keep them open like this. Um, you can then move the whole group of them around using the box. Um, and you can take the nodes inside the box and move them around inside the box. So that's those are options there. If we press uh, Z, we get these shape nodes. And one of the things we can do is we can say, well, let's make change the readability of this. Take these two nodes and let's make those down arrows. Let's take these two color nodes and make them sort of a burst here. Maybe the switch node will make um, a circle. So you can actually change the shape of your nodes to help with the readability of them. And some of the nodes in Houdini come in with different shapes, um, but it's up to you. 
Now another thing you can do is you can press the C key to get color. So for instance, we can go in and say, well, these two, there are orange nodes and these two are our red nodes. And that again helps with the readability uh, of that. And you can do that. You can also take a, a whole box like this if you want and make that a color as well. So that, that's a possibility there. Now, if we go um, Shift P, we can create a sticky note and we can type something in here like uh, these shapes are the starting point for the coffee cup. Okay, and that's a note there. And you can also add notes um, on, on different notes here. If you press the, um, go to the info box here, uh, you can show notes and say, uh, this lifts the cup to the ground. And there we go. And there we go, get a little note there. So there's a bunch of different ways of annotating your network and help to make it more readable. Uh, by people as they're working with it. Now if we go down to these two nodes here, I also wanted to show you different, we showed the wiggling to sort of um, disconnect things. We can also go in here and press the Y key, uh, which will break those, and we can press the J key and just go down like this to reconnect them. So those are some nodes that you will um, use from time to time. You can also uh, add dots. So if we press the Alt key, we can add a dot and we can connect that there and a dot there and we can connect there. And you can actually use that dot to go and wire into things. Um, but, you know, for now, we're just going in like this. So there you go. So we've done a little bit of cleanup on the network. Press C to get rid of that. Um, and as you work, you're going to want to do these kinds of things to organize your nodes and to connect them with what you uh to make them readable by other people because you know one of the big benefits of having these networks of nodes is that they, this becomes a recipe that other people can learn from so the more information you provide the better